All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to synchronize eSword with Microsoft OneDrive. So you get it up in the cloud, use it, and be able to use eSword to access your notes, your journal notes, your study notes, and your topic notes from any device that you have both eSword installed and Microsoft OneDrive installed. It's fairly simple. Let me walk you through the steps. First thing you want to do after you got OneDrive installed is you want to go to uh, OneDrive. And you'll want to create you an eSword folder. De delete that right there. To create an eSword folder, which I already did, or you could call it anything you want. I just call it eSword for simplicity's sake. You'll notice here that I already have test study notes, test topic notes, test journal notes. And you will find them on your computer in your documents folder in the eSword folder. So if you have original... If, you, if you've been using eSword, you already got notes, you don't want to lose those, simply go to your Documents folder on your PC, find your eSword folder, copy them all, paste them into your OneDrive eSword folder. Put them right there. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to go to Options in eSword. We're going to go to Resource Settings. We're going to go to User File Location. Notice right now it's pointed to your eSword directory in your Documents folder on your PC. We don't want it there. We want it in OneDrive. So we're going to go find OneDrive right here. And we're going to come down and we're going to find eSword. And we're just going to select that folder. So now that we've selected that folder, you'll see it's changed down here to your OneDrive eSword folder. Now we're going to close this out and when you open it up you're going to see your notes oops I forgot to put them notes in there didn't I so let me put those notes in there Well, you have to have the notes there already. <laughs> I just told you that too, didn't I? All right, OneDrive, eSword. We'll delete that, and we'll put those. Oh, man, didn't mean to do that. We'll delete that, and we're going to put those in there. All right, now we're going to close this. We should be able to see our, our notes. And there they are. There's the test journal, the test study, test topic. That's really all there is to it. If you like this video, if it helped you out, how about give me a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, share the channel with somebody. Help that YouTube algorithm find it. I sure would appreciate it, and you have a good day. Well, I'm going to recommend just a little quick tip that you go to BibleSupport.com, if you have not already. And download the installer that they offer for free. And it would be the eSword module installer. The reason why I recommend that just quickly is, is because if you just run the .exe file for various modules, eSword has a habit of putting it in all different places. Sometimes it will go in your eSword folder. Sometimes it will go into your app data folder that's hidden. And it just, you know, sticks stuff here and there and you can't find it later. It makes it hard to find it. If you get the installer, it's going to stick everything in your eSword folder when it when it unpacks and your new modules. So you'll have them all in the same place. So 